I'm Brad Kinley. I'm the lead animator on Mass Effect 2 at uh, Bioware. The lead animator is responsible for our, uh, our conversation system. You've been gone a long time, Shepard. Things have changed. Our gestures, our combat, facial animation, and uh, creatures in the game. So anything that moves pretty much goes through our department. Mass Effect has a very realistic bent. So all of our creatures have to look like they're grounded in the world, like they would react uh, like a, an, an ordinary, you know, 500 pound robot would. So this is uh, like the heavy mech I was talking about. So I was told by design like, hey, we, we need an attack. So he's got rockets that come out of this arm, machine gun in this arm. So I've animated him. And then I take him into Unreal Engine and I've imported the animation and uh, we get all the sound effects, all the VFX hooked up to the animation in Unreal. Go up here, we can set his mode to, uh, to be walking. So all the, uh, all the sound effects and stuff run with the entry so we can see right away exactly how it's, how it's looking, change the speed. So I'll just spawn one here. He'll activate, and you'll see uh, see all these animations. So Shepard has his own reactions to them. They've got their own VFX. And if I wasn't on God mode, I'd definitely be uh, be toast by now. These guys are really tough. They're some of the toughest enemies in the game, but they're also uh, some of the some of the most memorable fights. So every day I'll come in, play the heavy mech, see uh, see how he's working, see how all the, all the animations and VFX are coming together. And this late in the game, he's really close to, uh, to done and polished, so he, uh, he's worked out pretty well. I think you've seen the Geth in our teaser trailer. Uh, he was probably the, the biggest challenge in Mass Effect 2 because the Krogan has two eyes and a mouth, and Solarian has two eyes and a mouth, so they kind of follow that pattern. But uh, for the Geth, you know, he's got all these articulated plates, he's got this really complex uh, lens there. So using a system that wasn't meant for that uh, to build out a wide range of emotions for him was really difficult. This is like a question brow, you can put on a perplexed brow, you can add them together. You know, we ended up doing stuff like we put a small light on him that can change color depending on uh, the, what he's feeling. Thus, the only way to restore those systems would be to eradicate the Krogan. I recognized Agent Rossi as an Alliance agent and enabled her transfer, but she has not proven effective. This is the, the tree that kind of makes that all possible. All these nodes here will put on a different piece of, uh, uh, of uh, emotion on Legion a head pitch and roll and stuff and all the stuff is all articulated and working really well so he ended up being uh, one of the, the coolest aspects of Mass Effect 2 is taking the geth and really making them really detailed and uh, uh, expressive. Another thing we focused on was uh, creating a whole new set of gestures. On Mass Effect 1 we had to run 110 gestures that the cinematic designers could place down in our conversations. And for a game with 20,000 lines of dialogue, you see those gestures a lot. So for Mass Effect 2, we've got over 800 gestures. And combining those, you end up with uh, conversations where the player is not going to recognize a, a pocket of acting that had happened before. Who are you working for? Go to hell. Wrong answer. In Mass Effect, as more species, than I've seen in any other game. We've got 12 different species, and these aren't small changes. Like, Solarians have these massive eyes. They, their eyes and eyelids work in a totally different way than any other creature in the game. Like, this is a graph of all the different poses that are currently being uh, displayed on the, uh, on the Solarian. So when you try to figure out, well, how is this gonna guy gonna talk, you, uh, you get down to what the stru underlying structures would be. So you figure out what, where the bones would be, where the muscles would be, what's actually going to make, uh, make this guy speak. So it's just a matter of um, taking a look at the creature, making sure you're hitting uh, what's important for them. It's just a different way of thinking about the creature and making sure you're not repeating yourself. I'm most proud of uh, our combat system, the improvements that we made there. Uh, we worked closely with the uh, combat design group. We totally redid all of our combat 
animation systems and we touched uh, every combat animation that we had on Mass Effect 1 and we captured an additional 500. So our cover system looks amazing, uh, all of our weapons work really well. We've got six additional weapons, uh, heavy weapons, on Mass Effect 2 and usually it's a big no-no to have uh, four sets of weapons like pistol, sniper, rifle, shotgun and then to have an additional six at the time sounded ridiculous. So I'm most proud of the way that that's all come together and playing games like Gears of War, you know, we see where we're, we're, we're working at like a world-class shooter level. And uh, that, that was definitely a long time in the coming and uh, you know, we're very proud of how the game plays and feels and a lot of people are reacting strongly to that.